Welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you my first embroidery project using Ricoma EM1010. I'm going to embroider some bath towels. Now let's begin. For this project I'm using towels I bought at Costco. I love the quality of these and they have very reasonable prices. I'm also going to use the stabilizer samples that came with the machine. I bought another stabilizer, but for this project I'm going to use the samples. I'm also going to use one of the hoops that came with the machine. I'm in Chroma Inspire, this is the software that comes with Ricoma machines. Since I'm new to embroidery, I decided to buy a ready to make design from Etsy. I'm using this monogram to embroider the towels. First, your design needs to be centered at 0x and 0y. Now I'm going to choose the hoop. I'm selecting the Ricoma EM 110 by 110 hoop. Click apply and then OK. As you can see, the design fits perfectly in the hoop. If you want a visualization of the embroidery process, click on the simulate sewing icon. Move the slider to see how it's going to be stitched. Now I'm going to save the file on the USB stick and transfer it to the machine. Before sending the project to embroider in the final product, I make a test piece. This kind of embroidery is known as embossed embroidery. Typically you want to use a similar thread color to the garment, however I use a bright color so you guys can see everything in more detail. I will place the design on the opposite side of the tag. The towel has a right and wrong side, I will embroider on the right side of the towel. Fold the towel in half to find the center. I will mark it using a sewing pen. This mark will dissolve when it gets in contact with water. Now that I mark the center, I'm going to place the hoop. As a beginner, I can tell you the part that took the most time was placing the towel in the hoop. I know the main reason is the material thickness. When making towels, it's recommended to use a tearaway stabilizer. I'm using the tearaway sample that came with the machine. Place it on the hoop. If you are using another brand, cut a larger piece. This is just the sample size. There are different ways to place the hoop. I use this because I found it to be the easiest. I put a double side tape on the mat and place one of the ends of the towel so it doesn't move. Place the hoop with the tear away stabilizer underneath the towel. I'm taking as guides one line of the towel and the center point I mark to place the hoop. Now I'm going to find the right position. I know many people recommend using a magnetic hoop to simplify this process, but I wanted to use one of the hoops that came with the machine. Press the hoop and clip it in place. Ensure the hoop is in the right position. I recommend always printing your design to make sure it fits correctly and you can visualize the project. As you can see, it fits perfectly and it matches the center point. If you clip the hoops correctly, the back should sound like a drum. On top, I will place a piece of soluble stabilizer. I will spray a little of temporal spray to keep it in place. I'm going to do it away from my camera lens. Place it on top of the towel. Now that it's ready, I will place it in the machine. Go to the machine screen. I already have the file in the machine because I make a test piece. Press on the clock and press OK to remove the embroidery status. Press on file. Press on the USB icon. Here you will select the file you are using. 
Now press the machine icon, this will transfer the file from the USB stick to the machine. I have done this already, so now press the machine icon on top and here you will find your file. Select the design and press on OK. Now select the hoop. I'm using the Ricoma B hoop. I will modify the orientation of the design. I'm going to select the F upside down. Press OK. Now you can see the design is upside down. Based on the hoop you are using, you can modify the arms. For this, you will slightly loosen the screw in the back and move the arms. Now I'm going to place the hoop. Remember, this part of the hoop should always face the machine. Now I'm going to place the hoop. Tack the extra away so it doesn't interfere with the embroidery. Now I will select the color thread. When making an embossed embroidery, it is recommended to use a color thread that match the garment, but I will use a gold thread so you can see what I'm doing. I'm using a speed up 700, which is the default. When you get more familiar with the different kinds of materials, you can change the speed. Press on the lock to enter the embroidery status. Press OK. Now I'm going to trace the design. I open my camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. Press the trace button, the machine head will move around the hoop, make sure needle 1 doesn't hit any part of the hoop. This position marks the center of the design. If you are not sure about the tracing, you can press it again. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the embroidery process took about 10 minutes. Now I will remove the hoop, remove the excess stabilizer from the top. Now tear away the extra stabilizer in the back. I particularly like the most the design using the white thread, but I show you the golden one because it's easy to see. Remove the hoop. Remove the extra stabilizer from the top and the back. As you can see, the design looks great. If you are planning to make this kind of towels as a gift or to sell, I recommend removing the pressure mark left by the hoop. Spray water on the area, cover it with a paper towel and use an item with medium heat. Remember, a magnetic hoop won't leave any mark. As I mentioned before, I'm a newbie to embroidery. I found this was an easy project for a beginner. The part that took me the most was placing the towel in the hoop, but I know this was due to the material thickness. I know that using a magnetic hoop will simplify the process, but I want to use one of the hoops that came with the machine. I hope you like this project and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in a Ricoma embroidery machine, 
I'm going to share my affiliate link in the info box below the video. If you use the link, you will get a discount when buying a Ricoma embroidery machine. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.